Hello everyone, it's me once again. Recently, I uploaded a video regards to this product called Casio Protec WSD F20. This is a smartwatch uh, design is an Android smartwatch. So in other words, it's supposed to be connected to an Android phone. But as you have noticed from my previous video, I'm doing a bit of an experiment where why not connect it to my um, Apple iOS system and see how well it works because apparently there's a Wear OS that you can download an app and um, and um, technically if Google develop it it should work quite well so there there must be many people out there wondering whether it works well or not but um, before we get into those two queries that I have received last night Let's look at the um, reviews of this Wear OS at the moment. So Wear OS is designed for um, Apple users to be able to be connected to a smart Android smart Wear. And um, it has a very appalling rate. So two stars out of five. And main reason, if you see all, which you can do, I, I don't want to waste too much time on it, but mainly during the April time, the Tag Heuer users and Michael Core users were not really happy at all uh, because it's not it was not working well. But during the time, I, I could see this Wear OS have updated two or three times at least and I can see many improvements have been made I mainly had difficulties with um, not really connecting very well with my Apple which was much of a nuisance at all because I was hardly getting any notification nowadays it has been a few days since I have updated it and uh, it seems to be working well so far but I would advise to try to turn on the Wear OS most of the time running in the background uh, because I think it helps to get connected via Bluetooth to this Protec um, WSTF20 Casio. Okay, so regards to the query, let's get into it. Um, it's from Mr. or Mrs. Young Hun Jung. Um, he says, or she says, Hi, thanks for your videos about Casio Protec and iOS. Can you tell me how you can add notification uh, like? YouTube, Kakao etc. on Wear OS app in your phone. Well, your query about ad notification, I don't think you can actually adjust um, what is not programmed to be able to be added. You just follow from the options that are available to be added, and then you can choose which one to filter out or not. In other words, what you do is you go to Wear OS, uh, app and when you open up you can see all this connected and if you scroll down the second option which is notification if you click on it you will see which apps are able to get notification through uh, your Protex so I'm just gonna scroll down slowly so that you can see which one you can get you can even get BBC News if you're in UK Google Google Map IFTTT here we go Kakao Talk um, LinkedIn, if you're a business user, Maps, this is Apple Maps, which is horrible, my experience, by the way, personal experience. Uh, messages, Nest, and Phone. Well, one of the downside of this ProTech is that you can speak to it, but it doesn't have a speaker itself. In other words, if someone calls you, it will notify you that someone's calling you, but if you click on answering it, Eventually, you have to use your phone. So many of the notification you receive, it will only tell you what's going on, but you can't use through it. But anyway, so that's those are the limits that you get. I don't know what happens with um, if you're an Android, whether it actually changed to this. I, I highly doubt it. Photo, Star Walk, Twitter, Uber, WhatsApp, which is very similar to Kakao Top and YouTube notification as well. So if you don't want to get any notification, you just switch off and on. Okay, so that's simple. So it's actually within the app on the main screen of Wear OS on the first page. Okay, so that hope, I hope they, um, so what I'm saying is, I don't think you can decide which notification you can add, but I think you can just filter it for what is given. When I bought this product a month ago, I only had about seven or eight, but it seems to have like about 20 now. So I hope this will expand more 
uh, and so on. But I think it's becoming more and more friendly because it's been apparently been developed by Google. Okay, so I hope I answer your query for that one. So next one is um, a username called Sky Doherty. Uh, this person asks, "Do you make so? Did you make a video actually showing the functionality of Protect watches with the iPhone?" No, I haven't because I wasn't expecting to get many views. Um, I think I have almost 500 views or over 500 views for each video so far. So let's get into it. Hopefully this will cover it. So main thing is. If you scroll left, this is a very common thing, all right, you can choose which one you um, prefer. So these are the preferred list, but if you want to add more, just click on here. And there are very good default screens that you can choose from. Uh, some of them are added by myself, but you get about at least seven to eight original um, default screens, which are quite cool, actually. You could put display, um, your GPS position um, and so on as a background like this one for example um, if you click on it okay so it shows where you are and it shows the time and Casio and etc they are quite cool um, back, background images that you can choose from which is related to GPS function but what I prefer is uh, personally is like I want all the information bang in one go and um, this is my favorite screen so far, which shows the temperature, sunrise and sundown, battery life, date. Oh, here we go. I'll get into the steps. Two other times, New York Times and somewhere else, uh, my schedule and so on. And the central is the time. And you just saw this black and white uh, option. This is when you have a full display function on so it wastes a lot of battery this will last about one and a half days but if you go to battery save mode which is annoying is that if you after 10 5 to 10 seconds later you get a black and white version of this okay and it's not really I just don't like it it looks very childish in some ways so let's wait to see if it actually turns to black and white soon so this is the display you get, which I just don't like it at all. So that's why, well, why don't I just have full uh, brightness display function on? And this will last, as I said, one and a half days. But if you go to the battery save mode, it lasts about two days at least, I think. So it's pretty cool, actually. It's, it has a bit more battery life than Apple. So let's go to the top button. If you press that, you get um, quite cool functions here. I don't really... I don't fully have a grasp and I personally don't think whether this is actually useful other than the fact that, well, if you want to find the North Point, if you're lost in the middle of the woods, maybe this might help you survive the whole thing. But uh, just to summarize, because I'm not an expert, if you go to Casio's official website, it will show you the direction measurement, showing the North Point, um, altitude measurement, atmospheric pressure measurement, sunrise, sunset times, uh, tie graph and activity graph. So those are the display that I just um, like to show you. So let's see if it actually shows as what is shown. So this display is quite good. It's not a, it's not slow like the Apple Watch, the experience I had, and it's pretty cool. It's made in Japan. Um, they have good craftsmanship. So yeah, here it goes. This is a tie graph and the activity graph and so on. Um, so that's the first button if you press on the top hand side, top right hand side. On the middle one is basically it's going back to the main screen and if you press it one more you get all these um, Android 2.0 um, function which I believe. And the interesting fact is that if you have a Google account you can download Google apps through the um, this Protec watch. Okay. Um, as long as your iPhone is connected to the wireless stuff, it's a wireless connection, you can download Google apps friendly to this smartwatch, okay, which is Android apps. Um, so these are the, these are the lists you get, uh, which is quite cool. And uh, let's just go one by one, okay. So the first one is featured apps. So the feature apps, if you press on it, you get, I think these are special, Sorry, specifically designed for Protect function. 
EZI controller, uh, XLIM controller. I haven't actually uh, downloaded all of these, um, which I think I will. If you ask me to do so, I will, maybe. <laughs> uh, this is for Hole 19 Golf GPS. So if you're a golfer, Glassy, Fishbrain, I, th I believe this is actually a function where if you want to, uh, this helps you to um, catch fish when you're going for fishing an app store so this is google play app store friendly you can download the stuff as i said friendly to this um protect android smartwatch okay so that's a feature apps reminders so you could put reminders app play store activity so you could track your activity um let's click on it to see how well this is actually displayed so these are the goals tracking uh, fishing, cycling, paddle, snow, setting, and etc. So that's the activity um, app and agenda. So you can have schedules, alarm, so it could vibrate, contacts, you could put into your contacts. It doesn't, I think what, it, what happens is if you click on your contacts, um, you can then scroll down and then I think um, you can basically um, click into it and see whether you could dial that person. I haven't actually tried it, but then again, you can't really have a full uh, conversation like Apple Watch. It does have a mic here, but it doesn't have a speaker itself. So you know, eventually you have to use your um, a smartwatch. So, uh, smartphone which is quite a letdown actually but then again you, you don't need all the gimmick to be honest with you if you like this watch and if it's your taste then go and get one um, I don't really regret it anyway so contacts featured apps we just gone through the feature apps fit uh, this is Google fit how it works so if you go to the um, Wear OS you get all these um, Google fit records so how many steps you took how many calories you burn um, by the way this doesn't have the heart reading sensor unfortunately but then again how important do you consider it well i don't really i didn't find it very useful while I'm using apple watch i only gave me more panicky moment where my heart rates are going up wondering well, what what's going on here so i don't find that really helpful to me at all um, location memory so what it does is this is basically showing where you are and you could actually store that and then remind yourself the good place in voice memories and and so on I don't really see the necessity about that but if you're really into hiking and if you like the secret if you like to record your secret location you could do that so those are the main functions that you get and lastly if you click on the app what you get is the GPS map of cur your current location and um, and so on. But one of the down biggest downside is that it only tracks down, seems to track down where you've been. Uh, sorry. And, but it doesn't really show or direct you, guide you to where you want to go. Okay. So I just thought, well, what's the point? Because the main reason was, I, the main reason why I wanted to buy this product is because I wanted to really track this display show me where i how i need how i could go to certain places uh, without actually looking at my smartwatch but that doesn't seem to work on the ios at all so if you're expecting that function i think you're usually going to be um, disappointed so um, my advice is that please reconsider if you're looking for that function okay and um I think that's about it actually, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and um, contactless payment is not available through, um, especially, especially if you're connected to iOS. I don't know whether an Android Pay you can do so, but as far as I'm concerned, I've done a few hours of research. You cannot do contactless payment, Google uh, Pay through this um, smartwatch, which is a big shame. I really love that function. Um, but then again, if you use it for public transport, this contactless payment, a lot of people behind you get really annoyed. They give you that looks in a really crowded place. So I think, well, why bother in some way? But it's just my taste. So if you're into contactless payment, I don't think this works even at the um, Android connection. 
So there you go. So I think I cover most of it. But if you have certain queries that hasn't this hasn't answered, please do let me know. Um, do I regret getting this? Well, there are certain functions that I wish it had. But then again, Casio Protect, this one is specifically designed for outdoor activities, which I'm not really into, but I do like the design. I just, I'm, I'm really fed up with the um, using iOS. I feel very limited overall. So I just thought, well, why, why not move on to the next phase? So I'm getting Google Pixel, uh, as I said from my pre early on this from this video, Google Pixel 3 XL, hopefully next month. Um, but just so you know, I want to, uh, I'm also getting, hopefully getting the Apple um, X S hopefully by this Friday. Uh, just want to let you know all those YouTubers, well-known YouTubers are using these, um, should we call it a um, fake Apple SX. Don't trust their opinion. Please trust those who actually have a genuine product. Okay, not prototypes, but the genuine products that most people were going to get on Friday. So hopefully I'm going to upload that as soon as I get it. Uh, maybe a couple of days later if I'm unlucky, but I hope you enjoyed that upcoming video as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this answered your query, but if you have more queries, please do let me know. Okay, goodbye.